Hey, what's going on, guys? Obi here, and welcome to some Game of Thrones quizzes. Yeah, so Game of Thrones coming out today in America, or in my case, tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the morning. So, school might be a bit annoyed that I go in a bit late because I'm doing it all night to watch it, but still. So, Game of Thrones coming out, so I thought, what better to celebrate Game of Thrones than feel like what we would be if we're in Game of Thrones. So first, the first quiz we're gonna do is find our true house. So let's do that. So, uh, King Baratheon, King Robert Baratheon has re, re, -eyed, re resigned over a decade of peace, but do not be deceived. Something is foment, 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 what? In King's Landing, enter Westeros as a rising knight on the cusp of greatness and see what secrets you uncover. Victory with the crunch of your mace against steel. Your last opponent in the melee f falls to the ground, making you the winner of the King's Tournament. As your reward, you can swear loyalty to one of those great houses of Westeros and serve the side of those who shape the history of your world. It's an honour and a privilege to serve. Before you can proceed and to face and make your choice of liege, you're led back to a tent where the crown has provided a choice of three outfits. What do you wear to the feast? Black velvet with embroidered symbol of your lesser house in a colourless silver repeated on the cloth. A bright yellow outfit with colour cleverly wrought ruby seeds bone beads bone sewn into the collar. Blue silk with gold thread and geometric pattern of sapphires on the hem. Would you meant to be perhaps like be like um I don't know how to explain. I, I I'm gonna choose that. I feel like that doesn't make me seem gay. I hope that doesn't make you seem gay. After you dress and make your way to the feast, a bold man with a purple robe and a higher than usual voice approaches you from the side. Congratulations on your victory, he says. You have an interesting choice to make tonight. If you find it difficult, look at me at the end of the feast. I have oh, it's Varus. Tell Varus you can make your own decisions. Ask him about the prop this proposition. Varus takes your arm and walks you calmly to a secluded part of the nearby garden. I watch you in the tournament, he begins. And any house would benefit to have a warrior of your talent at their side. If I were to tell you that none of the noble families of Westeros deserve service, what would you say? Varus, let's go to your arm, blah, blah. Alas, you are a loyal thing. Alas, you are a loyal thing. You are not sure if this is a compliment. The conversation appears to be over. Walk back from the garden to the great hall. You lose Varus in the garden, so forget him immediately at the sight of the feast. The smells of hot meat and fresh bread fill your nose, muted only by wisps of expensive mirish perfume. Torch light fills the room and reflects brightly off the crowns, bracelets, gems, and that adorn the host of nobility. There is almost too much to look at. Where do you go now? Head to the tables, bring with hot food, walk to the end of the room where the iron throne is casting a shadow away from the torchlight. Wait for the right beat to join a group of nobles that's in the middle of the hall. Stand back for a moment and let it all sink in. Find your way to a barrel and pour yourself a goblet up for the king's best wine. Carefully ice those shiny bracelets and make your way blah blah. Walk around a great look for a new. Um, I want to go dance with some lads, like just go into the middle hall and have a little like bit of answer, cheeky dance. Um, you charge forward into the dance and are immediately swept up in a rich of music and colour. Many of the dancers have the golden rose of House Terrell sewn on their clothes and they certainly seem to be having the most fun. Join the dance at the part where you dance with a woman. Join the dance at the part where you dance. We have to do woman otherwise it will make me seem gay. Um, after dancing with your partner, the sick bard beat drops and everyone switches partners. You are now dancing at a gavit next to Loris Terrell. Who wastes no time in complimenting you on your performance in tournament. He smells strongly of so flowery colours. Of some flowery colour. He's gay, so I've gotta be nice. Come on, let's go on. That's where you're quiet. Ask if you have yet to meet likely. Accept his compliment and lightly. There we go. Laura st definitely navigates the spin around the corner of the dance floor and turns back to you. If I had a di an off day at the tourney, he admits, but I know you well trained night when I see one. But I know while during night when I see one, of course, your tilting could use some work. He says with a feigned offend offhandedness. Ask Lars what about your Jelson skills mean work? To it's rich to get Jelson advice. Oh! Loras reacts as if he's heard nothing, but you notice his eyes dart across the room. 
towards the tables piled with high with food. My grandma, I mean my father, instructed me to ask if any knight of the note participated in the tournament. Knight of the note, knight of note. If you like, you can swear the house to your and help the train our capital garrison in the melee. Excuse yourself for the dance and head back over to the main hall over Yeah, I don't want to be with uh, the Tyrells. Sorry. Although, oh, Marjorie. <sighs> anyway, anyway, you head back to the party and decide to try something else. You're only alive once, so you may as well make the most of your time at the Royal Feast. 32. Head to the food table. I want a food. I am Fachhund. Fachhund eat food. At the food table, you are greeted by the boisterous laugh of a round-bellied man with grey hair and black hair. King Robert creaks you to the party with a slap on the back. Our winner joins the party. Welcome, welcome here. Have some cap on. I forgot what his accent actually was because it was season one and season five. Uh, he drunkenly begins hacking at the chunk of chicken on his plate and hands you half of the bird. Take the rooster meat and meat, eat it. Smiles well being everyone at the table seems to be pleased with your choice. Well built man with black hair. Isn't that Barath? Yeah. No. Shit. Now I'm gonna see get fuck it. <laughs> Why does this bull man keep getting my fuck away, you cunt? Okay, it's probably virus. You head back to the party and decide to try something else. You are only alive once, so you may as well make the most of your time at a royal feast. Walk up to the Iron Throne, prowl around the room, go find Lars, go to the card table and watch the lords. Make your way to the middle of the room where serve from no. Taking the sights. You stand back from the party and blah blah, I never thought of Hey, if you had me. Before a deep voice responds behind you, put your hand on your sword and spit around. Oh, I fucking hate this cunt. I hate this cunt. I'll continue listening to him. He'll take up his offer, I swear to. Wait, I'm prepared to do a great favour and I recommend if you service the time. My master returns to the door, I'll join his party and he'll see you kings forward. There we go. Like, fuck, I'd betray. Okay. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. I was uh, like, I'm not going to betray Hal Stark. And then, if I be didn't betray Hal Stark, it's obviously going to want me to do that. So, yeah. Um, whoopsie daisy. Here we go. Here's another one. Which Game of Thrones character are you? Pick a movie. If I choose House Dragon Dragon, that's going to be Daenerys. But that's the only one. I like all these. I think games are alright, I suppose, but nah, I like how to train dragon. Which statement most applies to you? You believe in the one. You don't mind paying for love. You tend to only what want people you can't have. You find it really hard to talk to the opposite sex. Boys such skills are stupid. You're busy to think about settling down. You like people who remind you of your parents. You like the strong silent type. You like to be worshipped. There we go. That that's that's true. Just saying, yeah. Pick a Simpsons character. Let's be Lisa. No. Um. Really? Tell Rude Boy, shut up. Lisa's smart, so I'm gonna have to choose Lisa. Pick a song, Lannister. Uh, I'm not a girl, not yet a woman, nope, 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 bastard, I like the, uh, if I choose bastard, that's going to be Stark, isn't it? I fucking, I, I'd love to be a Stark, if I was in Game of Thrones, I'd be a Stark, pick an emoji, that's obviously Arya, that's obviously Queen Cersei, I like the henchy emoji, I'm a henchy, because I go to gym, Ugh. Ugh. Pick a sport, football. All day. Pick a Mr. Man character. What? 
Mr. Henchy, aka Mr. Strong, aka Mr. Square Root of My Cat. Swear to God, you two hours of it. Oh, mate, I got Cal Drogo. I'm, oh, wait. <laughs> Though you want people to be scared of you, you're a giant softy at heart. You're also dead. <laughs> Thanks, BuzzFeed. Cunt. Um, how would you die in Game of Thrones? That's the final quiz we have today. Pick your spirit animal. I really like dogs. And the wolf is a closer thing to a dog. I know I like being stark, but stark, it's a wolf as well. It's really annoying. What's your biggest fear? Um, heights or spiders? Height. Um, there's no spiders there. What would be your last meal? Uh, chicken curry, fried rice, and chips. Nope. Uh, chicken then. I've got a KFC. Which do you consider heaven? I don't have heaven. Oh, okay. Oh, it means like, what would I rather have? Um, rather that to be honest. I like the uh, greenery. When someone bumps into you on the street, you say sorry even though it was their fault. Yeah. Swear to kill them. <laughs> say sorry even though it was their fault. Who would you rather sleep with? I'm sorry, even though Amelia Clark is... Oh! So is Lena Headey, actually. Um, I'd still rather be... With Marjorie Terrell, like, come on, she's. What's your weapon of choice? I like a spear. I'm joking. Fuck a spear. I have an axe or a sword. You don't, don't you do that thing again? You're not it. Oh, I mean, said an axe. All right, an axe. You'd be remembered as a loner, loyal, a drunkard, a pessimist, main, manic, grave, sketchy, manipulative, kind. I'd be kind. I'm kind. Pick a deadly sin. Envy, sloth, all of the above. I never sin. Pride. I, 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 I take too much in my pride. Pick your poison. Um. Shot of tequila. Quite nice, actually. Besides there. Yeah. Besides that, all men must die. <laughs> Sorry, um, I, no. Um, all men must eat. I like that. I said die because uh, that's an actual thing, you know. You'd, you got, you'd die. In, I would die in a sword fight. Fair enough. It's not very uh creative. It's not exactly out of ordinary, but it's fine. I'll, I'll take it. Um, so Game of Thrones is coming out again for season 6, oh my god! So if you guys watching this, questionnaires on Game of Thrones or something like that, I don't know, I'll be tired, I'll be tired. Anyway, thank you for watching, see you next one.